Hello there, Aries. Welcome. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. I'm going to do your general love reading for the month of June 2024. Please like, share, subscribe. Feel free to leave a positive comment down below. If you're interested in booking a private reading with me or in any of my spiritual products or my Oracle deck, um, all of my contact information is down below. Readings can be booked directly through my website. So let's see what's going on for you at this time, Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Remember, it's a general reading. Not all of the messages are going to be for every single person tuning in. We're going to pull an overall energy message first and see what you need to know most regarding your love and relationships. In your overall energy... Got the mystic circle your abilities will be enhanced all right um, a lot of you are skilling up bossing up um, your powers of intuition are heightened at this time um, you may be receiving some sort of assistance um, to help you out like in hearing this is doubt fire help is on the way <laughs> And just to take a peek at the bottom, you've got the green men. The forces of nature favor you. So this is a very auspicious time for you. Um, Spirit is saying you, you need to get out in nature. You need to, you've been working really, really hard, Aries, and you need to have more balance with uh, your, your work and home life. Um, you know, all work and no play makes Jack and Jane dull people. Um, but things are going your way. Um, I feel like you're going to have resources available to you for something. Someone may be stepping forward to help you out. What else does Aries need to know? Love and relationships, please, Spirit. The Queen of Wands. This could be a friend of yours. Could be you. The Hermit. Ace of Pentacles. Page of Swords. On the bottom, you've got the Two of Wands. You're at some sort of a crossroads here. Someone's at a crossroads. Um, they need to choose which direction they want to go in here. Um, I feel like this person's thought about it long enough, um, and you're getting sick and tired of waiting for an answer and you're ready to, to move along. Um, Queen of Wands is someone who's very passionate, attractive, um, knows her value, knows her worth. She's a go-getter. She may be a manager, a boss, um, in her place of work or own her own business, um, she's very passionate, fun, and sexy. This could represent you or a friend of yours. Um, typically, Queen of Wands is Leo energy. Um, this horse has a sunflower. Um, but you're very much in control here. And if someone doesn't see your value or worth, you're going to keep it pushing. You are not going to wait around for anybody because um, you know you're going to be able to find somebody else. So you could be dealing with a Virgo here as well. I feel like after thinking about this long and hard, doing some soul searching, just kind of being alone, um, you're ready to start over and have a new beginning here. Um, if this is someone else's energy who's kind of been sitting on the fence and not sure what they want to do with this relationship, if they want to be in a relationship, if they have to choose between you and somebody else, because you do have the two of wands here, there's two flames lit. Um, this particular deck, it's about having to choose between two things that you're equally passionate about. Some of you may be struggling between furthering your career or 
starting a family. Um, there needs to be more balance. Two is a number of balance. I feel like someone's been doing some research or spying on you or, or asking about you. They might be asking their friends for advice um, before they make this offer to you. Because I do see there's some sort of a solid offer here. Now, for those of you who aren't in love or th even thinking about love, I feel like you're about to start a new project. Maybe you're going to be buying a home or something. I see you getting some financial assistance here, a loan or a gift from someone. Maybe a friend of yours is going into business with you um, and it's going to take your life in another direction. Um, and it's going to be communicated. I feel like you're going to get some news about this. Um, if, if this definitely is love for you, um, I mean, I intend these to be love readings, but sometimes it just doesn't show up in the cards. You know, um, there's no possible way I can read for every single person out here in the collective, but, um, I feel like there's someone here who's kind of been very single, isolated. They just, they kind of like to be single. They kind of like to keep their options open. But I feel like you're you're at a point where you, somebody here might be ready to settle down. And that's the decision. Or maybe you've been hoping this person would want to settle down if you're um, involved. And I think you're going to have a discussion about it. Or, um, you know, make sure you have a face-to-face -face discussion. I feel like there's someone here who's an immature communicator. And they tend to uh, text a lot. <laughs> No can do, Scooby-Doo. Serious discussions should be dealt with uh, in person, with or without cocktails, preferably before you finish your first cocktail and forget what you're talking about. Um, but yeah, there needs to be a discussion here. But I feel like right now there's looking at an investment and starting starting a relationship here or something because I feel like a lot of you have been through a lot of stuff and you're tired of having to do everything by yourself and it would be nice to have a partner. Um, most Aries that I know, especially the men, typically do not settle down until much, much later in life. But once they do settle down, they're very loyal. Um, but they like to have fun. <laughs> Definitely I know a lot of uh, Aries bachelors, that's for sure. All right, why is this mystic circle here? You've got the moon. Yeah, this is about trusting your intuition. Some of you, somebody here might be going through a spiritual awakening, like the dark night of the soul here, uh, going through some sort of crisis, midlife crisis or whatever. Um, there's someone who's been very secretive. They haven't been communicating um, I feel like they're kind of keeping an eye on things and trying to, they're kind of coming up with some sort of a plan or a strategy here to communicate something. Um, Spirit is saying you need to follow your intuition. Um, what else am I getting here? Some of you may have strong cancer in your chart. Um, some of you out here may also be light workers, psychic mediums, tarot readers. Um, something's about to be revealed to you. Okay. Um, if you feel like you've been kept in the dark, I feel like you may initiate a conversation with this person to clear something up because you, you don't like baloney. You don't like mind games. You are an excellent communicator and you expect the same from others. Um, and sometimes you just, you cannot rely strictly on intuition. Um, you've got the Eight of Wands clarifying that. Some of you are getting spiritual downloads in your sleep. Some of you have the gift of, of uh, astral, astral travel, astral projection. Um, I highly advise you, if you do have those gifts, that you 
um, protect your energy, set some boundaries and say a prayer before you go to sleep so that you don't end up in a place where you don't want to be. Um, because you, you can end up in a really nasty, negative, dark place um, if you're not careful about those abilities. Um, I feel like Somebody may be, um, there might be some passionate back and forth communication, a lot of texting, especially at night. Um, I'm hearing pillow talk. Um, when, I, when, I, when I think of pillow talk, I, I'm thinking of that um, Doris Day movie. I think it's from the late 1950s or early 1960s and i think rock hudson is in it but it's a really cute movie it, it's a it's very funny um if you like classic film i highly recommend you guys watch pillow talk um but uh you may get some messages through that movie or it may resemble a situation that you're going through right now um, tell me more, but I feel like there's a lot of back and forth communication. Spirit wants to reassure you that you will get to wherever that you're going. Um, you'll be successful. You'll, you'll get there safely. Things are going to take off quickly here. You might not know exactly where everything's going or where you're going to, where you're going to wind up, but wherever it is, it's going to be meant for you. Tell me about this hermit, paging peewee hermit. Ten of Cups. Oh, this is about, you know, inner happiness, going within, figuring out what makes you happy. Okay. You know, just having emotional bliss, happiness with a soulmate. You know, maybe you're tired of being alone maybe you're you're wanting that happily ever after and you're gonna you're out here seeking love um some of you are actively seeking love um and i feel like you're intuitively going to be guided to somebody here or it could be more than one person on the bottom of the clarifying deck you've got the five of wands yeah you felt like <laughs> There's been drama, chaos, problems to solve. This could be inner conflict. Maybe you're torn between being single or being in a relationship or not knowing exactly what you want at this time. And that's okay. You know, take that time. Go within. Figure yourself out. Figure out what you want. Communicate your needs clearly. What do you desire? Okay, again, this is an auspicious time for you to start manifesting and calling calling in whatever it is that you desire. Um, there's a lot of insecurity here. Um, some of you are afraid to put yourselves out there. Some of you feel like you're not good enough. Um, and please don't, don't think negative thoughts, okay? Because you attract the type of energy that you're putting out. Someone may have treated you like an option, but again, you know your worth and your value, and you're just going to, you know, take your fine ass somewhere else. All right, let's get an advice message for you. Advice for Aries, please, spirit. Advice for Aries. Get centered. So this is a time to really ground your energy, get in touch with nature, get outside, spend some time alone in prayer and meditation. You know, some of you may have a lot of scattered energy that you're dealing with or a lot of chaos in your life, um, but you need to just ground yourself. Let's get some additional love messages from my very own Soiree Magique Oracle. This is available for purchase. If you're interested, please send me an email and I'll get you the information and get one ordered for you. The 
message and we do have the page of swords here so you're gonna be getting some sort of a message is it a love letter maybe it's a card with flowers somebody may be receiving flowers on a card love letter what did i just say love letter <laughs> There's somebody that's going to be, you know, making you, like, they're going to have you every which way but loose here. They're going to have you thinking all sorts of stuff here. So make sure you clarify their intentions. Okay. Words mean nothing unless they're followed up uh, by action. Courtship. Ooh. This could be an engagement here. We do have the Ace of Pentacles. We may be offering you a gift courtship, dating you, you might have them scared. <laughs> Aries can be very intimidating, especially if, if you're very extroverted. Um, it's a whole lot of energy to deal with. You might scare off the, the faint of heart, but that's okay. You deserve someone who's strong, who can handle you. And then you've got family. Yeah, maybe you're thinking about starting a family or you want family or family could be involved here. Maybe your family is trying to set you up with people. Auntie, Aunt Dot is wondering when the hell you're going to get married and uh, have kids. <laughs> All right, that's what I have for you at this time, Aries. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see and you want to book your own private reading, check out my website. Um, my calendar is up to date. All of my services are listed there. Take care until I see you again. Be the love, be the light. Bye-bye.